Hi guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Sophie and I make lifestyle and preppy content on YouTube. And today I'm gonna be bringing you with me to a day in my life, Universal Edition. I'm so excited. So tonight is the night before um, we go to Universal and I just packed my belt bag. So I'm gonna show you everything that I'm bringing to the parks. So the first thing I'm bringing is my e.l.f. lip oil. Um, the next thing I'm bringing, it's another lip product. It's the Sweet Candy Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Two hair ties and a claw clip. I'm bringing my trusty sunglasses. Also bringing a glow screen because if you guys don't know, I live in Florida and sunscreen is super, super essential if you don't want to get burnt, especially at theme parks. Mini concealer and that's everything in my belt bag. So it's currently 7 o'clock and I'm going to go get ready for bed and I will update you after that. Okay, hi guys. I am about to go to bed. It is 11.38 and I will see you in the morning. I'm reading The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. Good morning, guys. It is currently 6.30 a.m. and I'm so tired and I'm still in my pajamas, but... I put in braids for the parks and I'm gonna go change. Okay, this is the outfit. This is Lulu and the shorts are also Lulu. And I'm gonna take my braids out. Okay, this is how my hair turned out. I think it's absolutely adorable and I'm super hyped to go to the parks. So let's go. And just a little disclaimer, I wasn't able to talk in any of the videos I got at the parks. So from now on, everything is going to be a voiceover. As soon as we got to the parks, the line looked super long, but in reality, it was pretty short and we got to the front pretty fast. So about five minutes later, we were entering the park and um, you can see the Universal sign and we entered City Walk. We walked all the way to the front of the park and saw Cinnabon. We continued walking and we're almost there. We found Rip Ride Rocket. It looks so tall and super scary. We got Voodoo Donuts in the we morning. Were finally almost at the entrance and I was literally so excited. You can see the City Walk signs, the big Universal Globe, and Rip Ride Rocket in the background. If you take a look over there, you can see someone going on right now. It was super cool to watch. And now we are super close to the Universal Globe and almost inside the park and we saw the Mardi Gras sign. We walked under the huge park gates and immediately got in line to get into the park. The line was about three minutes long, so it wasn't too bad. And she scanned our tickets and we immediately ran to get on Rip Ride Rocket. Rip Ride Rocket was so cool and I loved that ride. Next, we headed over to the Gringotts ride because we knew it was gonna have a super long wait. We passed the Transformers and we started to walk down the streets of Universal, and Universal is so pretty, and I love all the sets, so this was super fun to do. We walked for about 5 to 10 minutes or so, and then saw the King's Cross train station, and knew we would be close to the entry to Diagon Alley, the Harry Potter world, and we saw this cute little bookstore, and we're so excited to finally get to the harry potter world we entered the gates and it literally looks exactly like the one from the movie and we were literally so excited because you know my friends love harry potter so we found all the shops and immediately saw the huge dragon on top of the green gods bank and this was so cool we thought it was gonna blow fire but i didn't end up getting it on video we saw the entrance to the green gods ride and thought it was going to be a super long wait but the wait ended up only being 45 minutes which isn't too bad for Gringotts we went in single rider so it was a little faster we got our 3d goggles and we're waiting in line for about 30 minutes which is a little less and I got on the ride it was super fun I totally recommend that ride it was great after we didn't end up getting butterbeer but we went into Sugar Plum Sweet Shop and got some candy. This is me opening the door to get inside. And it was so cute in here. It literally looks like the sets from the Harry Potter movie. They had the jelly beans, chocolate frogs, and so much other candy. We went into the Weasley's Joke Shop. And we found a ton of really cool and cute souvenirs and toys in there. And we looked up and saw this really cool set. I don't even know what it was. But then we decided it was time to leave Harry Potter World and go to 
Islands of Adventure. Since we had super limited time in the park, we said goodbye to Harry Potter World and I was super hungry. So we went to Louis Bar and Pizza Grill and I got a soft pretzel. It was pretty good. It was just a way too much salt. We walked over to Islands of Adventure and immediately got in line to get into the park we were hoping it wasn't too long it was only about a 10 minute wait to get in which isn't bad at all considering it was a super busy day and there was a ton of people there and we got our tickets scanned and got inside we immediately ran over to the hulk roller coaster you can see it in the background here and also in the background in this clip and here's a much better video of the Hulk roller coaster. I absolutely love this coaster. It's my favorite ride in the entire park and it's so fun. Definitely go on this ride if you are in Islands of Adventure. The next place we went was a little comic area and we went on Dudley Do rides, which was super fun, but we all got so wet. My shoes, everything was dripping wet. So after getting soaking wet, we walked over to the Jurassic Park world and it was so sunny and bright and I reapplied my sunscreen here. We saw the King Kong ride, which looked super scary. And we also saw Velocicoaster, which we got in line for. It was an 80 minute long wait, longest wait at the entire park for that day. And we were super, super excited to do Velocicoaster. And the line was so pretty and the dinos looked so real. Like I was honestly scared. After riding Velocicoaster, we headed over to Hogsmeade to chill out a little bit because that ride was really crazy. We walked in and Hogsmeade is so pretty. Like the snow on the rooftops seriously is so awesome because we never get snow in Florida. So I thought that was pretty cool. All the shops were so adorable. And I immediately got in line to go get my favorite drink, some butterbeer from the little food truck that they have. I got a frozen butter beer and it was $9, which is absolutely crazy. We also got empanadas. I got a beef empanada and we went and ate them in front of the Harry Potter castle, which is literally the prettiest spot in the entire Islands of Adventure. After that, I didn't film anything else. I'm sorry I didn't film anything else, but I hope you enjoyed the universal bit. Well, I'm about to film all the voiceovers, but I just wanted to point out that I basically forgot to film like half the rides we went on so i'm just gonna kind of show pictures of the rides and like tell you about them and yeah i have my trusty dr pop it's literally my favorite flavor and i love poppies so i'm gonna drink that and i'll be back to you at the end of the video for a little wrap up hi guys you've reached the end of today's video and i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this took me a really long time to edit so please share with all your friends like the video and comment your favorite ride that we went on and if you have been to universal love you guys bye